Party runs by them all to take the lead and pull away. Giopanti finding his best stride through the stretch. His first time out for Giopanti, who gets the maiden breaking score in the debut. Giopanti to take the Shadwell Turf Mile. Ramon Dominguez was absolutely loaded with Giopanti. That's what good horses do, they win. Gio Ponte is a three-time Eclipse Award winner. And the winner is Gio Ponte. Gio Ponte. It's Gio Ponte. To all his fans and generally the racing fans, of course, he's got a thousand Facebook fans, which is great. And yet, despite his success and popularity, Gio Ponte enters 2011 with something still to prove. Uh, we can never be too happy because we got beat. He finished second. As you know, he, won he finished second in the Classic the year beforehand. But I mean, you know, he, he went very well. It's just unfortunately Zanetta was there uh, two years ago and Goldikova was there last year. And you certainly feel sorry for poor old Gio Ponte, who had won a normal Classic. That certainly would have won that. Christophe Clement has spent the first couple of months of this year slowly working his star horse back into shape at Payson Park in South Florida. He looks very happy. He looks great. He had a nice winter. He put some weight on. He's still a little bit uh, wintry looking. You know, he's got a thick and long coat, but he's got a good, healthy coat. That wood has been very sound, whatever that is. And uh, no, I'm, I'm, he seems very happy. Gio Ponti will be making a return trip to Dubai, but this time his seasonal debut will be in the $10 million Dubai World Cup, since Gio Ponti was not quite ready for his scheduled Dubai prep on February 27th. And I didn't think he was quite ready for that race, which was uh, the Canadian Top Handicap at uh, Gulfstream. And it was a very competitive race. You know, the winner won like in 132 and change. But the plan is still to train him to Dubai. In last year's World Cup, Gio Ponti came charging late. It's a nose finish in the Dubai World Cup. But Gio Ponti had to settle for fourth place, even though he was beaten only a length and a quarter. Gio Ponti's regular rider, Ramon Dominguez, will once again ride Gio Ponti in the Classic, hoping to improve on last year's finish. Gio Ponti to take the Shadwell Turf Mile for Ramon Dominguez. Gio Ponti has won or placed in 16 graded stakes races, but amazingly, if he were to win the Dubai World Cup, he'd more than double his career winnings to over $10 million. So now horse and trainer hope to prove they can do more than just win on the turf. I was lucky enough to finish second on dirt with Dynava, and we finished fourth last year with Ponti and Um uh, But it's not really a great concern. Uh, Ponti, I mean, you know, he's run very well on synthetic before, uh, so I think he can handle that kind of surface. It's not a problem.